Ahmedabad, the seventh largest metropolis in India, accounts for around 10% of the population of Gujarat and is the commercial capital of the state. Ahmedabad is also amongst the fastest growing cities in the country with the highest GDP growth rate amongst India's metropolitan cities. The current population of 58 lakhs is likely to reach 1 crore by 2031. Earlier known as the Manchester of India, Ahmedabad has now diversified into many other businesses. Ahmedabad is known for its pulsating lifestyle and world-class living standards, that too at an affordable cost. It is also well known for its gastronomic delights of its eating houses, its malls, gardens and parks. And above all, it is known for the fun-loving and socializing spirit of its people. With the arrival of Tata's nano-car project, the city is catapulting forward to become the new Detroit of India. The proposed Gujarat International Finance Tech City, GIFT, adjoining Ahmedabad and Gandhinagar would further boost the growth of Ahmedabad. Moreover, the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor is to pass through Ahmedabad and will generate tremendous opportunities for the city. With the development of the Dholera Special Investment Region and world-class connectivity to Ahmedabad and Dholera, Ahmedabad is poised to become a port city. However, Ahmedabad's scorching rate of growth has put a lot of pressure on its urban infrastructure, especially roads. With one of the highest vehicle-to-person ratios, Ahmedabad's per capita vehicle ownership is higher than many large cities of India. Ahmedabad has more than 20.8 lakh registered vehicles and 1.5 lakh new vehicles are now added every year. This means 411 vehicles every day. The city is rapidly shifting from a predominance of two-wheelers to the use of four-wheelers. And the administration is sensitive to this challenge and has taken proactive steps to tackle the same. However, the challenge is enormous. In spite of one of the best road networks in India, the roads are full, with traffic movement becoming slower day by day. The solution to this mammoth problem lies in an efficient and reliable public transport system. That is, a mass rapid transit system, MRTS. The government of Gujarat, with the support of DMRC and IL and FS, is committed to implementing a mass rapid transit system between the twin cities of Ahmedabad and Gandhinagar. Ahmedabad will thus get new wings with the metro system. In its second phase, the MRTS will be extended to the Dholera Special Investment Region. This state-of-the-art MRTS will have air-conditioned coaches with trains every fifth minute. It will not only reduce the congestion on roads, but also reduce pollution, both air and noise. The elevated metro will pass through dense city areas without adding any strain to the traffic. So, you can reach your destination on time and arrive fresh and at ease. The MRTS will be enabled with an automated fare collection system with smart cards, providing for fast and efficient ticket processing. So, no more standing in long queues. Integration with other modes of transportation like the BRTS, the AMTS and the regional rail system will provide a smooth and seamless facility to move across various destinations. Come and join our growth movement. It is an inclusive growth model. It has something to offer to everyone. So, let's welcome the new initiative of the Metro in Ahmedabad. Let Ahmedabad fly on its new wings. Let's join hands to make it happen.